And uh, good morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Before I read the speech of the Director General, Food and Agricultural Organization, I would like to inform you that in every year, there is a topic chosen for the occasion on 26 October. Therefore, this year, the topic which has been chosen is the woman feeds the well. Therefore, I'm going to read the speech of the Director General of FAO, which is read all throughout the country, I mean the well of today. Women feed the well. For many, there is no disputing this fact founded as it is on traditional and realistic perception of the role of women within the family and within the community. Their novel act of feeding and nourishing their families and the nation has been celebrated throughout the history by artists around the world. However, it's, it is time to look beyond the image. We need now to recognize and value fully what the task really involves in the term of responsibility. It's also important to understand the condition under which women perform the important task when the resources are scarce. Women feed the well. The underlying fact is that more than half of the world food uh, produce, uh, and world food is produced by women. In the rural areas of the developing world, where food production is the principal activity, a woman provide up to 80% of the food consumed in their own homes. Yet, their families, the rural poor, form its majority of the world's 800 million chronical Hungary people. Why should a special topic be devoted to women now? Women and the rural women in particular have traditionally achieved more than with less. In an average day, they plant crops, plow, are fed fields, they fish, they gather f and fuel wood, cultivate home gardens, fish water, and cook, cook and process food wash clothes and care for the children. Women have no or limited right to own the land that they farm. They restricted social privileges, little or no access to credit, training and technology. They are often denied even a basic education. However, in many households, when food is handed out, women and girls take that remains after men have received the lion's share, a custom that invariably condemns and pawn child is the noted growth later. In 1996, 186 countries agreed on the need to raise women and their rights to a priority position on the development agenda. Delegates recognize it that when adequate opportunities and resources. Women are decisive partner in development. Their efficiency, dynamism, and openness to innovation contain, contain, contain the tide in the war against the hunger. If women are to be empowered to act as full and equal partners in development, we must realistically evaluate the conditions under which under which they fulfill their role as obstacles that limit their access to resources and their active participation in planning and decision-making decision structure and in institutions. An environment must be created and nourished that will ensure only that women are, are listened to attentively but what is the most important, that serial and tangible commitment are made to address their needs and concerns. <laughs> FAO firmly acknowledges that the fundamental condition of women to household and national food security and multiple role rural women play throughout the entire food chain from agricultural production to post-harvesting processing and marketing as well as in nutrition and food safety. This is why Women Feed the Well has been chosen as a topic of in 1998, the World Food Day.
telefood campaign, we believe that the battle for food security can be won only if invaluable contribution made by women is recognized and if social, political, economical context powers them to develop their potential as farmers, actors of development and human beings. Thank you. Jacques Diouf, Director General of FAO.